Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Paul Graham, and I'm your senior pastor from Restoration Praise Center, and I'm your host on Bible Boot Camp. It is a pleasure to be up and awake and alive this morning. We are so excited about starting our 25th day of Bible Boot Camp. We're now in our 25th day of Bible Boot Camp, and I'm telling you, God is amazing. God is doing some great things, and he is working stuff out for us. And so this very morning, we want to thank you for joining us on this next day of Bible Boot Camp. Wake up. Come on, everybody. Wake up. I'm trying to wake up. I'm tired. Wake up and stretch your spiritual muscles and know that God wants to do something spiritual in you or you have to be that individual that's waiting and accepting God to do something in your life today. Challenge yourself this very morning. Challenge yourself to be a part of this worship experience, not only for this time that we're spending, but even after this, as you go to work, as you go to school, as you play, whatever it may be, let's wake up and stretch our spiritual muscles and be a part of this worship experience. This very morning, we believe and know, we say it over and over again, that we are in, re come on everybody, we're in revival. And because we're in revival, we are looking forward to God reviving us through his Holy Spirit just one more time. And we believe and know that God is that kind of God that wants to revive our souls today. And so today we welcome you again to our 25th day of Bible Boot Camp. Now is the time, now is the appointed time to start our lives and start this morning off right with God. So let's bow our heads together as we talk to God first. Let's pray. Father, again, we come before you thanking you for being an awesome God to us, for being a great God to us. In this very morning, we look to you, who's the author and finisher of our faith. We look to you, who can do all things. We look to you because we trust you. And today, as we are uh, spending this time with you, you're saying that you trust us. So I'm asking now that your Holy Spirit will be with us and bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. And so this morning, again, we start our morning off with God. Because mornings are better when you talk to God first. We believe that mornings are better when you talk to God first. What's the first thing you like to do in the mornings? The first thing you like to do in the mornings. The, I would say the first thing I like to do in the morning is just um, roll over on my pillow. <laughs> you know, but I like to pray. I like to talk to God first. And I think that when we talk to God first, it starts our morning just right. And I believe that God wants us to start it with him. I always uh, uh, love this prayer, and this prayer takes us throughout this day, which says, Dear God, today I woke up, I'm healthy, I'm alive, and I'm blessed. I apologize for all my complaining. I'm truly grateful for all you've done in my life. I, I, I love that because I'm healthy, I'm alive, I'm blessed, and I'm grateful. And that's what God wants us to be this very morning. And this morning, uh, we're going to be talking a lot about sin but more than that we're going to be talking a lot about the gift of eternal life and i think that's so important for us that we don't just stay on the sin but we stay on how god has given us the gift of eternal life you know i, I never usually do this that often but i wanted to go back for a moment because uh one of our pictures for the day or our pictures for the day a couple of days ago uh, was exciting to me. In fact, yesterday was exciting to me. And the picture of the day was this. Uh, Jesus Christ, this is what it was. Jesus Christ, uh, uh, eternally refreshing, and whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. I'm sorry, it just, that was something that just stuck with me. It stuck with me uh, uh, yesterday, and, and, and I really, really loved the very fact that God is always refreshing us. Now, that's what revival is all about, right? It's about being refreshed through the Holy Spirit. And today, we want to be refreshed through the Holy Spirit. There's a song that I want to share with you, a, a song by someone that I went to school with, someone that I know, someone that I uh, really appreciate his music. And it, it is, and I just want to share with you this song. And it's a song called Stay Broken. And I believe that God wants us to stay broken. Anytime we feel like we're better than God or we're higher than God or, or anytime we feel like we uh, have attained more than God, then we get messed up. And so I beg of you 
to Stay Broken. Beautiful song, beautiful song by Dwan Starling. And as we listen to this, let's believe and know that God wants us to stay, watch this now, not broken meaning messed up, but meaning available to him. <laughs>
I'm gonna stay open Cause I know you've chosen for me to be blessed Oh, I'm gonna keep kneeling, yes God Despite what I'm feeling Cause I know there's healing in my brokenness in my brokenness what an amazing god what an amazing god and i believe that there is there is healing in our brokenness what an amazing god this very morning i want to share with you a, a small text just a small text something for you to uh, marinate on for the day something for you to just understand for the day and as we do that we ask the, for the holy spirit to be with us because we don't want to do this on our own we don't want to get into this word on our own. We want to make sure that we're listening and hearing God. So, Father, I ask you that in this revival time, that you help us to hear you. In Jesus' name, amen. And so this morning, I want to share with everyone, just want to share with everyone, this text is a text that uh, I used to hear time after time again that uh, helps us to know that there is one side to living and then there's another side to living. The word of God tells us in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's our text for the day. And I want us to think about this text for a moment. And I want you to think about it simply because the word of God is telling us that something will happen if we stay in the debt of our sins. Something will happen if we continue in our sins. Something will happen if we're stuck in our sins. And the Bible is clear that in, in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, it says, for the wages of sin is death. But, but we can't leave it there. And too many times we get stuck on the wages of sin is death. And we recognize that all, everyone have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Everybody in the sound of my voice have messed up some way sometime before and we recognize that because someone has messed up before because you have messed up before because you have made some errors before because of you have messed up before it doesn't mean that that's it and it's over it tells us that god has provided us a way out of escape he's also given us a way to walk he's also given us his, uh, of us his holy spirit so that we can start all over again you know, I think sometimes we forget that God is a forgiving God. I think when he forgets our sins, we remember it. And we need to stop remembering it. We need to stop rehearsing it. We need to remember that God is a forgiving God. This is why there's not only one part of this text. It's not part of this text that only says that the wages of sin is death. But it also tells us that there's a gift given to each one of us. And that gift that gift is eternal life. And I'm enjoying the very fact that my gift is giving to each one of us. Um, I believe and know that God is the kind of God that wants us to live a complete life in him, a great life in him. This very morning when I read this, it brings me to the very fact that uh, Though the gift is given to us, we've got to accept it. Now, we've got to accept the gift that he's given to us. Can we accept it? And the answer is yes. Every single day, we must accept the gift that God has given us. You see, when he gives us this gift, he wants us to take advantage of this gift. Don't take advantage of his love. Don't take advantage of his kindness. Don't take advantage of his grace. But take advantage of the fact that he will do this for us and that we will accept it. You know, when you think of sin, you think of where sin will uh, will cause us to end up. And we end up in a grave. And the difference between a rut and a grave is its dimension. So the truth of the matter is, if you're in a rut in your life of sin, then you're really in a grave and you've got to wake up. You've got to get up. It's time for each one of us 
uh, to recognize and understand that God wants us to wake up out of our issues. One individual just say that we don't want to take advantage of the giver, but we want to take advantage of the gift, which is awesome. We want to take advantage of the gift. God is trying to tell us this very morning that there is a difference living with him and living without him. So I want to share this with you. Uh, temptation that leads to evil begins with lust, which leads to enticement, which points to sin, which results in death. That is the four-step model of the negative flow of temptation. I want you to look at it again. It begins with lust, which leads to enticement, which points to sin, which results in death. Wow. Lust, enticement, sin, and death. And God is saying to each one of us right now that, hey man, I want you out of that. I want you to get the gift. I don't want you to stay in the sin. I want you to get into the gift. Because God wants something great for us, better than we could even think for ourselves. Hey, people on earth hate the word repent. But those in hell wish they could hear it just one more time. Yeah, I mean, when you think about it, he's given us the chance to repent, to start our lives over again, to be who he needs us to be. And he's simply telling us right now, he's telling all of us right now, that I want to give you this gift. Let's look at this text just one more time, right? This text tells us, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you right now that we serve a God who is trying to save us from ourselves. Will you remember uh, Romans 6 verse 23 today? As you remember Romans 3 verse 26 today, know this and understand that he is only trying to save us. He's only trying to save us. We are in revival. And if we're in revival, we've got to act like we're in revival. We've got to live like we are in revival. We've got to know that we are in revival. And it begins with each one of us. And through this text, we got it today. This text that just simply tells us, for the wages of sin is death. It is. The wages of sin is death. But, and anytime you find that word but, that but, that's right, it cancels out everything in the past. I got a million dollars for you, but that means you don't got a million dollars. I got, I'm going to give you this new car, but that means you don't got that new car. The wages of sin is death, but that means you don't have to have the wages of sin. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Awesome, awesome, awesome word. Sometimes I feel like giving up It seems like my best just ain't good enough Lord, if you hear me, I'm calling you Do you see, do you care all about what I'm going through? And then he said, one more one more step See I'm preparing you For myself And when you can't hear my voice Please trust my plan I'm the Lord I see And yes I understand But sometimes I feel like I'm all alone I'm just like a stranger So far from home I feel like I've done All that I can do Please Lord give me strength I'm just trying to make it through and That's when he told
am the Lord and I change it not. I won't forget, no, have I forgot. You see, everything works according to my plan. I am God, trust me, I got the whole world in my hands. right one more day this morning we want to pray for each one of you i'm going to ask at this time that you begin writing your prayer requests and as you write your prayer requests believe and know that god will hear and he will answer your prayers and have patience have patience with him have patience with him he will hear and answer your prayers right now i'm going to just uh, give you a little bit of time to write out your prayer request so others will see and others will pray but we want to pray for you even now so let's begin to write out our prayer request. God will hear and he will answer. for prayer praying for nephews graduate high school guidance beautiful beautiful let's get ready for prayer father again we come before you thanking you for all that you've done we thank you for life and we thank you for strength we thank you for thanks uh th we, we thank you for all the things that you have done for us everything you've done for us waking us up this morning starting us on our way this morning we are reading all of these prayer requests, and we want you to know, Lord, that we trust you. We want to, first of all, thank you for taking away our sins and cleansing us from all unrighteousness. We want to thank you for making us new this very morning. And this morning, we pray for Vernock's family, family, of uh, uh, father and brother-in-law. We pray for Lenise. We pray for V. We pray for Nina, Adam, Kareem. Mahdi, we pray in a special way, Lord, for increase. We pray for spiritual strength. Mike C. is asking for a job, strength, and family. We're asking for uh, prayers for neighbors. We're asking for uh, a strength for a uh, high school graduate. We're asking you, Lord, for uh, uh, pr um, more a double portion of your Holy Spirit for God, for, of your Spirit for guidance. We're asking in a special way that you will continue to help us to believe and know that it's all about you in our lives. We're asking you, Lord, to revive us this very morning. But in this text this morning, we recognize that there's so many, so many who are dealing with sin issues. But we're grateful that our gift is eternal life. We're asking now that you'll be with us today, that we'll walk with you. We're asking you today that you will help us to make the right decisions, whether it be graduate school, whether it be transitioning in graduate school, whether it be making the decisions concerning friends, relationships, whatever it may be, Lord, I ask that you walk with us this morning. This morning, we also ask that your Holy Spirit will 
uh, keep us where we need to be in you. Keep us on fire, Lord. Keep us strong. Keep us able. Keep us willing. And this morning, I ask for those who are traveling that they'll travel safely to where they're going. We have about three or four individuals that's traveling far. We ask you in a special way, Lord, that you will bless them. And this morning, Lord, we also ask that you help us to recognize that even though the wages of sin is death, we believe and know that your gift is given to each one of us. And we take advantage of that gift, but not the giver. Be with us and bless us this morning, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for joining us on our 25th day of Bible Boot Camp. We have reached our 25th day of Bible Boot Camp, and we're thanking you for joining us. This morning, I want to give you the word of the day, the picture of the day, the word of the day. Go to our Facebook page. It is, sin wouldn't be so attractive if the wages were paid immediately. Sin would not be attractive if the wages were paid immediately. Uh, a little scary there, but it is true that sin wouldn't be so attractive if the wages were paid immediately. God is good. So the, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Be blessed, everyone. And again, I want to thank you for joining us. And if you would like, if you would like to, uh, uh, to support us, Take the time to go to our, our, our page at PastorPaulGram.com and give and be blessed. Thank you again and know that God is willing and able to be with us and bless us today. Be strong in the Lord.